and shut five four three two one zero let's see if uh group c is gonna have a couple more twists and turns i'm, I'm very excited to see big clan return to a german-speaking roster see the influence that has on the rest of them yeah i think one of the keys here is the fact that everybody in lieu of not having that zantara sharp tool is going to have to lift their individual ability which boils down to getting more kills now one expert odds were favoring the big clan and so does the opening kill sirison will combine with tizian's flash Breeze will oh. find one in response here, so it's falling apart at the seams. Yeah, it's even trades. Keto's done very well to actually open up ramp. It keeps them competitive at least. And if they wanted to send to the lower site, it would be the right call. Oh, they're gonna get the bomb down safe here towards the single door. Keto will be defending that, and the three on three can really kick off now. No defuse kit for this retake. Let's see, when can Daps get his first kill in Counter-Strike? Oh. Ooh, Sirson, a bit of a mess of that one. Keto's done well with his USP, got another to contend with. Would need three, and three is the magic number. Don't forget, Tapson's very, very low. He lives on. He might want to take first contact here. Daps to come up clutch, and Keto playing with him, toying with him. Cross says in the right place. It's a Keto wild, though. That's four. Does look like we've lost Tizian, so a timeout we're going to have to be called. But Big Clan converting off their T pistol. Do they have any doors in Valorant? I know they've got teleporters. Uh, I thought I recognized many people in the background. <laughs> <and> it's, <laughs> it's, never, it's never the people we think. No, completely different human being. So, Wall of Smoke's caused by Big. Let's see if they can hold on to this, because, Chad, these rounds are pesky. Can be very hard to hold on to. When we get to see Gade flying down the vents, and already taking a lot of space. If he swings open the door, yeah, okay. So he's made a very clear sound cue as to his position. That'll get Ramp a little aware. I imagine me who's going to be... Oh my God, if he gets flanked, this is going to be brutal. They're pushing him Ramp. He's going to run straight into Gade. Hello, hello. Oh, that's lovely. The low site should be open for business now. Oh, Daps has already been peppered away here. This CZ not going to get a chance to do too much damage, but Breeze through Ooh. the smoke. Making it look way too easy there. Another great find from Keto, continuing to farm up some frags. And well, now it will just be three of these pesky upgrades. Scout, CZ, Deagle to find. And if you're EG at this point, maybe you're thinking you should save. So it gets a kill on the Scout. That means there's an AK to be retrieved. You can see that Obo is surging forward to retrieve it as a team. So this is actually going to work out like not terribly. Uh, you keep your Kevlar, your MAC-10, your Scout, and an AK. Everyone's got a sidearm and a primary to bring into your next attempt to at least Keep these boys from Big Clan honest. Admittedly, it's two back tens on Sears and Engage, so they're not too dissatisfied either. Yeah, this AK is great to carry through the next round, right? So it's looking good for EG to be competitive in the next. And I think the thing here is having Big decide they want to start on the T side, I guess that means they can, it's their first game, it's their first official with Gade. They get to set and dictate the pace a little bit more. If you start on the CT side, it's very quick to start in that 5-0 hole, right? You lose pistol, you lose the force buy, you take an eco, you lose the first gun round, yeah. you lose another half buy. Well, it's already 5-0, right? At least here they get to determine how they want to approach these rounds. And some super interesting context. It was a Dexerto interview, I believe, uh, I don't want to butcher his name, Louise Mira? Uh, yes. Louise Mira, uh, who's uh, recently joined Deserto with a great piece uh, highlighting Gade and his uh, move to Big Clan. It, with the insight that he's actually been considering it for a long time. It's been in the works in the sense that it was an offer that he didn't take uh, in 2017 during that optic conversation. And to have that, you know, that seat kept warm to the point when Wenzantaras did want to depart for his pursuit of eternal fire, Gade has been called upon. And I mean, just school German. The fact that this dude is, you know, I mean, a lot of people can say they learn a language in school. Not many can say that they can use it in a professional environment. I mean, that's a different, yeah. that's a different kettle of fish. So shout outs to Gade one time. Uh, and if he can do this, I think it's only going to help the, uh, the other four significantly. Like, I do think it was a bit of a debuff just by having Zantaras in their roster. Well, it's just like a filter, right? There was always that filter having to come through to Zantaras, but... There's an opening from Obo, getting interesting now. Molly top heart pressure towards the upper bomb site here, and the cavalry of Zerg has arrived up the ladder. Ooh. They're allowing them to get that bomb down, and in this kind of situation, you will go for the retake. This would be a great find here from Breeze, not able to connect. Gade okay, gets his first kill, dispels the lobby presence, and now they just have four more to find to get their third round. Yeah, but is it just going to be like you've got no util? Normally, util is the, the catalyst to a retake on this top side, a one-way smoke, a little pressure. Daps is going walking for this, and Gade has been bodyguarding it nicely. It's uh, the rifle lost by Tabson. And 
Nobo continues to at least be a threat in yard. They'd love to take him down. Good damage out of Kito's AK, and he does finish the job. So Sark doesn't get to keep hold of his scout. And actually, they don't get to keep hold of anything. That's worked out lovely for Big Clan. They stop any of that save and keep hold of the rifles themselves. Yeah, that feeling right there is like they've gotten out of bed in the morning and they made their bed. So yeah. now that they're going to re they've returned home from work right now, getting into the first gun rounds, and it's, it's a clean room. So that's nice. It's a nice feeling. You don't have to worry too far down the road about any of those. You, did, you didn't leave the towel on the bed. We've all done it. You know, oh, you've had yeah. a shower, you've a been in a bit towel. of a rush, you leave the damp towel on the bed and you come home at night and you've left the window open. So not only oh. is the bed a little bit wet, it's bloody cold too. It's it hasn't dried out. I do love a good cold sheet though on a hot summer's eve. Okay, turn the pillow over. Yeah, man. Get that freshness. Ovo. Previously very successful in his uh, yard campaign, now dispatch for main and top site defense. You can see that Molly, just while we have a, a little bit of time here, towards the vent is to deny the vent rotation to buy the buffer for these secret cross smokes so they right. don't have to worry, or at least if they do, they'll hear a sound cue, make the life difficult of these rotators. But now they can just clamp on down. Can be a lower site pincer. And with Tabson towards that lower site, will they swing open a door to mask the sound? Orb shot. Picks up the ramp control and Cirque picks back in. He's actually lost Gade here. He can creep around, get the kill, and Big away find. we go. Big find. It's kept level. Looks like they've lost Hito in the process. Tabson yet to make a sound cue. He has to break the glass eventually. And he's rejoining his teammates. Me, who's got a lot to contend with here. He's going to get very hot. Me, who has to depart dark and. It's up to the boys here to trade evenly. It does seem like they've managed to at least take the site, but they haven't got the bomb. Breeze confirms it, and that makes it very uncomfortable for Tabson. Breeze should have him booked here. Now, he's looking the wrong way currently, but he's going to have his head on a swivel, as you can see. Ooh, oh, it's timing. It's going to be on timing. God, he looked away the second. Oh, okay, that's the end of Tabson. It should Jeez, be. Louise. Long range connections with the spray. Okay, bomb down secret. Obo can still play spoiler here if they cross main. And he's lost the bomb again. 18 seconds. Tizian will scoop it up. Descend the vents. He knows where Obo is. A head to head between the two of them. I think, don't think Obo's going to know until he hears that door getting swung open. Actually, he wasn't close enough. He played passive here. And now he should have a very good idea of where this one resides. Down towards the lowest site. Second guesses himself here. Uh, is he just going to try and save this AWP? I'm not sure if he's aware. I, I thought that he worked it out. And there it is, it's just the AWP save. Okay, well, a round that could have gotten interesting just turns into an Obo AWP save. And big, they put another one on the board here. Got messy for a moment. I will say, I think Tabson's completely saved them. Like, you can't sweep that frag under the rug. Breeze should have had that day in, day out. Just a question of timing. Looked away at the wrong time. Tabson gets that first bullet pressure. Uh, if we're going to talk about Breeze and Cirque, two of those names, right? And I think the desk touched on it a little bit. If you're new at a counter strike, then maybe you're not used to the daps with NRG, which is where we had Ethan, where we had, uh, obviously, daps. We had Breeze, we had Cirque, and, uh, well, we had Tarek in play over there as well. Uh, and within that team, when they were good, Breeze, Cirque, Ethan, they were the workhorses. They were the stars of the team. Now, Breeze, he hasn't been a uh, consistent fragging presence, let's just put it that way, for EG in recent times. Oh, the punch saved him, yeah. <clears throat> if uh, we can get Breeze returning himself to that level, Cirque popping off, then combine that with Mihu and Obo, now we can have a bit of a conversation. But that's the ifs and buts. It's the ifs and buts, but it's like it... I don't know if I'm just overhyping oh. it. That's a great find. An aggressive angle as well from Cirque. I mean, he knows he's got the the hero pressure with the AWP, the biggest weapon for his squad. And now he's rotated into the stack. This is a great call. The smoke has deterred the commit. But what? <laughs> what? If you like those. You take those. All right. Um, well, big, very, very limpy now. And it should for EG. If they can hold their nerve here, they've got everything covered. Look at that. That's a real luxury. As we cut through the EG defense, you can see that Big's options are so limited. This spells trouble. They even have a kit right now as well on Breeze. So worst case, they could mop this up, but it'd be nice for Daps to get a kill here too. And the... Woo! Oh, okay, I was going to say the three Deagle bullets necessary. Gets it done in four. Nice stuff there from Daps. And that's EG on the board. So a saved AWP from Obo turned into a round, right? Whereas the 1v1, that's a 50-50. This one, I guess they've made it look a bit more like a 70-30 there. And they've actually put some questions over in the big column for the future purchase. Now, this is reminding you all at home that smokes are just smokes. They're not a wall. You just can't see through them. Yeah, doesn't stop me respecting them like a wall the entire time. 
Wow, they are pretty scary. Now, uh, look at this purchase here from Big. They've been able to get a little bit of a hodgepodge buy going. Two rifles, a Galil and an AK. Some upgraded pistols and enough util to get them across to secret again. A late wall. Now, you can see teams go for the later walls so that uh, they can't get disrupted by any pesky Molotovs. There's one of them. Ah. And the smokes will land quite deep. That's going to be called clear from Cirque. There's literally nobody outside. It's looking like they're setting up for a top pop here. Out squeaky with three. Oh, this is going to be a bloodbath. I can feel it. Hobo. It's going to be Molotov out. He will find a safe haven, I think. As I say that, they just get dominated. Reason over already depart the round and oh EG so well equipped but they fall foul to the opening entr entries of Keto Searson with one as well yeah if you don't do anything on the top pop like that if you're not trading if you're not even making it with a bit of damage for your teammates to come on in wow. and mop up the mess you may as well save and I think that's what's being called we can see already starting to recede the EG trio I mean this is brave from Searson he he wouldn't mind the orb. He knows where it's going to be likely saved. It's actually not towards uh, CT spawn, so hiding in plain sight in the vents. But Big Clan have responded immediately. Uh, you know, I just started visualizing a full 4-4 there. EG had a real opportunity to start twisting the knife. A single rifle. Big Clan make it look easy with a little top pop action. We'll see how those frags came about. So it was Obo and I believe Breeze. And yeah, there they are. Both bodies dropped, and it's just too much to, to overcome and to retake. You can see frustrations mounting a little bit there for Obo. And there you get to see a, a glimpse of Gay. That's some great content out of Big as well, if you want to see how their uh, boot camp and his arrival went. A Danish flag flying for Big Clan. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is odd, I, I guess. Uh, <laughs> it was odd when it was a Turkish flag as well. But they're so, both I mean, red flags. Yeah. So they're just trying one for the other. And here we go, a bit more pace, straight in towards top. Big, keeping their foot on that gas pedal. Oh my god, they're in. Obo's got a lot to contend with here. And oh, freezing him this time. Past their test. Keto continues to try and press the issue here, but there's so many players. He's booked off the flash. And as the dust settles and the round has met its 1 minute 20 mark, Searson has lost everyone. Yeah, well, they went for the pace change. They went much quicker, right? Previous round, they did a smoke wall to fake and then popped in late. You see the difference a couple of opening kills can make out of your defenders here. Searson's all will find one. That's Mihu down. Searson's a gamer, Chad. Yeah, it would be some classic Searson action here. And I think with Cirque's AWP pointed in his direction, it's going to be unlikely to get much more out of him, especially when you consider Daps up on the rafters as well. Searson falls, 5-2, to two, the scoreline reads, and oh, big, they've fallen flat with a faster maneuver, so it's going to be back down to one of those more odd-looking buys, where you'll see maybe some pistols, maybe some galils. They have enough to get at least three AKs out if they want to forego utility. Really good confidence booster for the top defense as well. Like, for EG, they, they had to prove that they can defend your top pop. So Big Clan are not going to be bullying you. They're not going to keep abusing Obo and Breeze. You know, the first taste of that top pop it definitely felt like big clan were going to try and keep abusing you and now already you've deterred it it's like just you basically told them communicated professionally try something else and me who already dealing with ramp that was gay just going for a contact walk and it's not gone well for him taps has found something towards yard though and not a bad find by any means operating very low HP, and look at the peak from Cirque being hugely active over towards the secret area. Yeah, Dap's even flashing for him just to cover his mark. Mihu. Oh, bit lags a daze. I around the corner. Breeze looking very sharp oh, on the M4. Good God. Is he expecting another? He will now. Tizian's dealt with him. Breeze nearly took him all the way down. Big chunk out of Tizian, operating with just 30 HP for the one visit. 1v2. The plant would be nice here, and he has a bit of room to do so if he acts right now, but he is looking for a frag before he descends into the site, and every second that he waits, well, Obo's coming around heaven. Cirque's going to be able to pop his head up that vent, and I think this one will fall away from Tizian as he does exactly that. Yeah, he'd, he'd have to manage his angle so well. He's no idea Obo's right behind him, and there's a third for the evil geniuses. It's a, nearly a perfectly even kill distribution. It was Breeze's double on ramp maintaining that advantage. Yeah, so it's going to be interesting, right? So just so everybody's aware, maybe you don't know what happened with EG, but Daps came back to be the coach. Uh, Stan has opted to take a little bit of extra time. Uh, didn't feel that he got the most out of the 
uh, tournament break. I, I think that's due to quarantine restrictions in his part of the world as well. Um, so, look, you can understand if he doesn't feel ready to come back, he may have come back and be more... That was why coaching seemed like a lovely little balance of the two. Yeah, his he... strong suits and, and covering his weakness. It was like a classic in-game leader of, you know, the 2015-2016s, right? Yeah, you know, exactly. like, you, you were, were a smart cookie, but you maybe didn't help your team out in the fragging capacity, Or right? he gets so wrapped up in what the team is doing, he can't focus or doesn't prioritize his own game. Yeah, micromanaging your little pawns around the board here. But as well as that, he went to Valorant. Okay, so that's that's the, the big headline here. He went to Valorant, uh, but he's come back. He's come back to us within that coaching role for EG. Now, being called upon to uh, be an active player within the squad again. Now, that's something which uh, I'm sure he didn't take lightly. I'm yeah. sure he had a bit of a, a bit of a thought process about that. But to be a professional in Valorant, mechanically, DAP should still have been playing. Oh, he'll be hot. Yeah. yeah. I've even seen tweets from some of the NA pros saying that they like to they warm up in CS for their Valorant games and warm up in Valorant for their CS games. I guess that's probably because they just can't find enough pracs in either. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, I mean, it does feel like, you know, Daps has gone to a fancy private school for a second. He went to a private school and now he's come back and uh, as the head teacher, we're all, I want us all on our best behavior, okay, mm. guys? Like, let's make him feel welcome. Let's welcome him back with open Kino arms. Kino could knife him, though, and that's not going to be very welcoming, oh, is it? Oh, well, that isn't very welcoming. Welcome big... back, Daps! <laughs> Play to the spine, and Kito might get another hit. <laughs> Just like the knife you put in the Counter-Strike community is back, Daps, when you lift us! <sighs> we don't have to be those people, by the way. Anyone watching, like, join the gang where we're, 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 we're not... <laughs> we're not just reflexively projecting our fears and insecurities about Counter-Strike's lifespan onto Valorant. We don't hate Valorant. We don't hate it. It's good. It's competition. This is an FPS game, and we like... And it's its own thing. It's, it's completely its own yeah, thing. Yeah, they, got, its they own got all thing. their own roles and all those things, and, and we Wibbly got... Wibbly Yeah, and we've got grenades and orbs, right? Yeah, Every, everyone, precisely. Get out, everyone's got the their same pros map. and their cons. It's not exactly the same game. You want to play both? Go for it. You want to play neither? That's good, too. Like, let's just stop being so divisive. Why does everything have to be an, a binary one or a zero? Things are better for people like when they can... Just enjoy Stay out yourselves. of the gray. Yeah. But this is good from EG, getting back into the CT side here and finding Ooh. themselves only one round off the pace. Testing the reaction speed of Cirque there. That was a brave one. Jumping across. And at least confirms that the orb's not Yard. I mean, I don't know if that's going to inspire anything out of the Keto Tabson project, but they have already got Tabson across. Tizian monitoring lobby side, and this is the aforementioned yard presence of big. So they've got about 60 seconds to piece this one together. Bomb still lingering a lobby. Uh, we could be seeing... Well, I was going to say smokes. No way, Jose. Tizian's got one. That's it. So where's that going? Yeah, it's going to make this difficult to operate with. This could... Uh, oh, is that lockers? Yeah, and I think right now when we look where... Tabson is towards the lower site. Maybe they just want to try and keep eyes away for the rotation. Where is that one going to fly out to? We'll see it pop up on your radar any second. There you go. Nice little jump throw. They have to turn the screws here. 25 seconds. A 5v5. <laughs> Knocking on the door atop. It's about to get hot. It's very hot. Obo, one for one. Not bad considering the molly. They're coming in. Daps just wants to play his live play. The time and more than enough. Double out of Daps. Another miss out of Cirque. The bomb will go down uncontested. They've just about got enough time to make a round out of this big clan. And not the most favorable of retakes. Don't forget Cirque with the orb. It does put a lot of pressure on Mihu. He's got a full kit of util, a flash from Cirque to set him up. All right, Mihu, let's see what you're made of. Big Clan not caught by the flash, but he full commits. Down he goes, waiting for the peak of Tabs and the Molly Gray. Might be deep. Tizian hiding that close corner. Cirk would have to find him right now with a no scope. And it's just too much to ask of him. Tizian with three. He'll grab that AWP as well. Thank you very much. Sirison will be using that in the next round of play. And Big have already given themselves more than enough rounds to work with here on this T half. I think it's going to be. It's not easy for EG to be operating on the T side of a technical map like Nuke. Now, look, they are over in kind of its Poland, I could tell, because uh, I think Ovo put a picture up, and he was... I could tell from the curtains. I could even tell you what hotel they're, they're boot camping in. Nerd. So uh, we've spent many, many stays kind of its Poland in that exact hotel, and... Uh, what are we going to get out of the team here? Smoke wall not deployed, but enough to usher them 
behind main and to be threatening from that T red container. Now they're actually going to park multiple members here. So hoping when you do something like this that there's a late CT. Never mind, they're being active. I was going to say late CT clear Keto. Daps okay. is, is good for one in this angle. It's a very, very potent ang. Can't really be flashed off either. So, oh, oh, lovely. Two in the feed for EG. And I don't know if Tabson's going to have to change his plans completely because he had the bomb. I think he wanted to go top with that through main, but Daps's position alone has kind of rumbled them. Oh, oh, what a reaction out of Tizian. A little bit of tracer fire, but he does react in time to put one into Mihu. That's the end of that. Breeze fills the gap. And Tabson at least getting Need a plan. It down. Need yeah. it. That's going to put an extra 800 bucks in every member of Big Clan's pockets. Oh, he hears them Stop feeding towards him. He'll take one more for his troubles. A solid haul, all things considered. But EG closing that gap. And I mean, they need to, right? They, if they want to have a competitive nuke here, I want to see them close that gap and then some. Big Clan, as you already highlighted, going to be happy with their haul. And just going weapon hunting, getting all the upgrades they can. Look, that plant is going to allow Big to go again with the purchase if they'd like, but it's going to be skimp. And operating light on nades on a map like Nuke, it's not an in-game leader's dream, but maybe a half bite could also suffice. It, uh, it is more of a... It, less bending the knee and more just kind of playing the numbers. So it looks like the half by is on the docker here. The yeah, order's like in from Chef Tabson. Biding his time. So they've gone with a couple of smokes, a couple of flashes, HE. And a ramp maneuver here. Mihu to be tested. He Ooh. is definitely not passing this one. Wow, and Keita took no damage for that as well. This could get really uncomfortable for the CTs. Obo's going to have to find a large amount of frags and a quick execution of the gate prior to that smoke going down. He can't really contest, though, as they play with the doors. Breeze, prime position, oh, does oh. deny. Look oh, at this. that's perfect. And a different response out of Keto. It's something, but man, well handled. Really well handled. EG just laugh it off. Kind of saucy there for a second, but Breeze bowed them out. He denied the plant. And well, that was one of the key components of a round like that for Big. The half by with a bomb down would have been a great conclusion. But that got messy, didn't it? Denying the door, swinging open. Keto makes it just, but the bomb unable to get planted, mopped up by Obo. And away we go. Tied up 6-6. Now it's about extending this CT half for EG. Yard smokes sail through the sky while Cirque takes a pot shot. He's completely blind. They know where the AWP is isolated. They've already thrust him back. Ooh, Daps with a big win. Huge fight. Yeah. Huge fight for Daps to take. And this and one of the quickest in the game. Daps! Oh. Ooh! <laughs> Aggie boy! Adjusting to Keto. And he'll make Look it at him through. go. Let's go. Dabs is warm today. Never mind warm. He's hot. <laughs> okay, Dabs. He's got something to say here. Now, coming in, look, if your expectations were high that Dabs was going to drop bombs and hit some massive shots and be a fragger it, with the potency that we've already seen out of Mihu and that Obo get schlattered blunt object as a recipe for success. Nice nade. Bit deep. They are on the way down the vents. Nobo should hear this. He should hear this in a very big way. Is anyone down there? It's all onto our Cirque Orb. And uh, perfect. Incendiary costs him his Keto's life. entries, man. Yeah, he's done it twice now. Tech Nine and Deagle, respectively. And it's going to result in a plant. Could he Keto. result in a round? Oh, dear. Now the bomb's ticking. Keto's already doubled up. If Gade could just find dabs, Big Clan could make this. Armored pistol round, very, very threatening. They're coming in from ramp. Daps is the only exception to the rule. And to contest Gage it, it's not hide. ideal for Gage. Gage. Yeah, he's trying to find a long-range angle. They know where he is, and Searson in a prime position to lock down this round. The smoke is compulsory. They're running out of time, though, Chad. They're really running out of time. They need to be defusing now, and they are. It's on it. Yep, just needs one bullet, Searson, to deny. Oh, oh, oh. Got the defuse! Just in Stole time. It away. Just in time. EG will steal it. All of that hard work from Keto. All of that hard work from Big Clan, and it doesn't translate. Oh, 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 daps right under the nose just there behind the smoke, trusting in Breeze. And huge stuff. This is just Cirque getting wrecked.
absolutely wrecked here. Great shot from Keto. He's keeping up the impact into the lower side and only oh. just. You know, we say that a lot, but that was I tiniest see, of margins. And I see Breeze, you killed him with the USP. He must have run out of bullets. So it was that window. Sisson did have the opportunity, just didn't quite get that double click quick enough. Last round of our first half then. Let's see if Big Clan can handle the Daps yard hold. He's already pretty good for it. It's such a difficult role, isn't it? Look at this lobby push as well. A real mix up here. Oh, you've been caught in the act, haven't you? Breeze trying to climb up the ladder, but Mihu's filling that gap and, oh no. Mm. Sirison's found one too. Yeah, it's not over yet. Obo. Oh, caught on the way out. And Tizian ready for Mihu's aggression as well. So this one has fallen. Completely dead or in the water. We'll call it 8-7. Still a lead. You, you better make mincemeat out of oppositions like EG. It's just a star player that you're replacing, right? And in the conversation with Tabson on uh, HTV Confirm the other night, everybody in this team is going to need to frag a bit harder. Well, Keto's already doing that, and we'll need to do some more right now because he's paired up with Gade. Oh, and they've been completely run out of town. Tizian, you've got two, but is it enough? It could and is enough. Tizian with three for the ramp hold, and Daps just slinking out of top site with nothing to report. Don't forget, he probably dropped some stuff as well as buying nades, so an armorless Glock up against three members of Big with the bomb. Uh, this would be the Daps moment where we all start talking about his return to Counter-Strike with the 1v3, no armor. I'm not so convinced, and I'm not sure Big Clan are either. Look at this angle from Tizian here. He's the one who's looking towards ladder base. For the hell wrap. Spots up one. The dink is good. Daps, okay. Oh, take your time, brother. 60 seconds. You know what one is. You weren't ready for the tizzy at angle. And it does result in four. Valiant attempt. Looking good. But EG do take the pistol and close that gap. Well, so far we uh, are. EG, let me try again. Big clan. Big clan. EG. G2. I forgot OG. it was an 8-7 half. It was that, I mean, I don't know why. I, was, I doubted that EG won the first half, but they did. They did. Just the slimmest of margins. But uh, yeah, taking a little bit of a look at it, so far the biggest contributors to the scoreboard for EG, at uh, four big, see, uh, see I've got both too, it. yeah, uh, <laughs> is Keto and then Tizian. Sirison with 10, six for Gade and four for Tabson. Well, they get a chance to farm up a couple here. Sirison scout connects and more bodies to be found towards Yard. They're on a pretty much full eco here. Yeah, I saw that nade did. 99 damage oh. to Cirque, and that's looking great. In fact, the Daps Glock is back. Go on. Not to be. Okay, well, they took an eco for a reason, and that reason means they'll get the AK-47s out now. So, didn't go for the classic force, didn't want to press the issue in that regard, and well, we get to see what type of smoke variation EG are going to be working with here. Is it going to be something pace steady, a bit more top aggressive? You'd hope not knowing that there are a lot of SMGs on the other side, three of which, MP9s for Tizzy and Keto and Tabson. This is a classic bonus round coming into play for number three. Yeah, and Big Clan 1400 should be enough to get them all well equipped should this go awry, but it is quite the bonus. Three SMGs, Fama Scout. Tabson's pushing ramp already here. So they're taking a lot of lobby space early, Big Clan. Yeah, and a nasty gap for Searson to at least get info through. So Tabson already through the lobby. He's got... Surely someone's responsibility to hold that and just sin the gap. Me who eats a scout bullet. Gade, perfect timing on his contact. And he's had the bomb slip down the ramp. It's on him. Down the secret stairs. That will slow them down in a big way. EG, this was up against the bonus round and they've lost so much territory. Yeah, here's the thing as well. Gade still has a smoke, or he did. He used that Ugh. to help obscure the vision. So this is going to force EG to wait it out. And while that happens, Big can set up their defense, right? What if we got covered? Where can they slip the net? Where are we containing them to? Well, so far, not a whole lot. They get yard and nothing else. Oppo has to crack open main here. This is an essential kill, but a hard one. Hard clear. Oh, Snappy from him. And oh, I think the missed scout shot will enable Oppo to uh, try and take a little bit of space away from Cirk here. He's loud about it, managing his angles well. Clearing back through main. Now, Tabson has taken the space of Keto and Obo controls his aim and has pulled us right back into a level 3v3. Good catch from Searson on that scout. 
He's given them something to work with here, but I think it might just be the save. You can see Daps, he's still very, very passive outside lobby. Zerg now being called off like one of the hounds, and they'll hold on to these two AKs, because in the next round of play, they will not have enough for a buy. This can keep them somewhat threatening, but the loss bonus does not build for the two surviving Ts. And, well, two AKs taken. Let's see if Sirison can get his grubby mitts on anything before the round ends, and that'll be the third AK picked up. So that is great. Big went in with a bonus. There's a scout. Three MP9s at a Famous, and they walk away with the round win. Three AK-47s and plenty of money to go for the purchase. Great shot there from Obo, but it just was not enough. And now, operating with just these AKs, it'll have to be some light upgrades to give VG the best shot into round 19. Sirison has his AWP. Tabson has purchased into a Silence Den 4. But this is going to be a very, very difficult round for EG to win. Oh, and Tizian wants to make it really complicated from the start. He's just holding the cross. Anyone that dares challenge this is a free frag and combines nicely with the flash of actually with dabs. Poor Obo temporarily just guarantees that frag and opening frag for Big Clan in hot pursuit of 11th in the early stages of this half. Gade good for it on ramp as well. So the remaining three of this EGT side. They do have both of the AKs with them. Yeah, they don't have a smoke though, right? It's just this flash on Mihu to try and get into the bomb site. Normally a smoke can guarantee you the plant. Yeah, what are you supposed to do with this? I, I guess one of the positives is nobody's lower just yet. And I say that, Gade starts to make his way down to check out what's going underneath. So the head there, confirmed now. They don't actually have to play in the site. They can allow EG to breach and then Come in for the retake. Okay, I don't know if he wants to concede the plan here. He's having to stand and fight. Yeah, Tapson's arrived at the perfect time. Wow, absolutely nothing for EG to celebrate there. <laughs> Big Clan have made that as painful as possible. And it's a good start for them here on this CT side. That's four on the trot. They haven't had too many dramas whatsoever. Let's have a look at just how many kills that they have sustained within the first few rounds of play. So in the first four rounds of play, only five kills for EG, three on the pistol and two on their first gun round, which were on the way out the door type kills. So not a lot of impact here on the T-half just yet. We will see another buy in Daps and Cirque because they saved those AKs. We'll have to operate with some MAC-10s. A bit faster into ramp rush, a bit of a classic. Let's see what you got, Gade. They're knocking on your door. And he's gone and snatched oh, got two. two. One straight through the smoke. It's some hard hitters as well of EG. Don't think he's going to be complaining with the double, nor will his squad. You want to go down that lower side? They've already set up Tizian in response. Oh, oh dear. Obo doesn't even get a chance to voice his concerns. He's been eliminated around that smoke. You can see Tizian's dropped another one. That's becoming more and more of a feature within CT setups. Yeah, he's even going to peek around. It's huge from Tizian. Oh, it's horrible for me who. <laughs> and as the door slams shut, Daps is handed a sandwich and it's not full of succulent meats. These are the wraparounds that uh, you'd want to have Stan your team for, because you know he comes in late and he goes for the clutches. Now, maybe not the one on four, but uh, maybe the one on threes that we've seen a little bit earlier here. For Daps, any damage he can get done here is good. The money for Big is not out of control just yet, but we're starting to end up in that direction now. Fight's one. The fight not converted. Keto stands tall and call that 12 Big. Running away with this one now. Five in a row and we'll mm. keep the kill count on. Six kills in the first five rounds of play of the T-half for EG. So just getting kills at this juncture, not looking easy. You can see in the top right corner, we have Dust2 next, that's Big's pick, and Overpass as the third if required. Now, a curious note with Nuke, that does mean that Big opted to start on the T side and manage a decent bag of seven if you are just joining us here. But a half bite from EG. Some Deagles, four, a CZ for Dabs, and Oh, he's not going to get the room he was hoping for. Another kill conceded early. Yeah, starting to get a bit repetitive for EG in that sense. Conceding these opening kills and then having to overcome that man disadvantage. His bullets weren't far off. Obo was really close to finding Tabson. If that nade had somehow made its way down the vents, but Tabson's safe and sound. And what is that? It's two smokes. So Breeze and Obo, they could choose to deploy them to lock Searson out of this info. Yeah, well, I guess it's lucky that they, they don't have a, a clean route across red. They have to pass Sirison, but because he doesn't fire, they get a chance. 
All four of them making it across to red, but that info is now with big. Oh, oh that's a gap. gap. That's yeah. a big gap. They've had a couple of those. And for a team that's picking nuke, I imagine that's something they, they looked to iron out quite quickly. Yeah, you can't be having holes in your smoke balls. I did my uh, HLTV confirmed fantasy, HLTV confirmed, HLTV.org fantasy team for uh, for group C and D. Okay, who you, who, who's, let me guess. No one from either of these teams. No, but you've definitely grabbed a Navi boy. A boy. Have you, I, I grabbed two. You grabbed Electronic and Simple. I went bit and bit. Well, because you only get, you oh, get a, a million to a spend. Budget. Okay. Simple costs like, he's the, he's the he's most expensive much. player. So, so you got, you got bit go and electronic? I went bit and boomage. What are you up to? Well, yeah, because everybody in this group is really, in the between these groups is pretty expensive. Like, uh, there's also Gambit players, and they're really expensive as well. Right, like Axel, oh, Hobbit, Shiro. Andy. Yeah. So okay, I got, I'll have to think about it. I got Shiro, Inters, mm. Bit, Boomich, yeah. and Crims is a bit of a sleeper purchase. He's very cheap. And I can imagine that, you know, there's a world where Crims... He's still a world-class player. I mean, don't forget, he sold all his skins. Yeah, he did sell his he skins. He did all his... Uh, oh, we didn't talk about that storyline. Crimps, guys, sold all of his skins. He sold all of his all of his skins. All of his skins. One of the key storylines with Fnatic. Yeah, leading into the, today's game. Bloody hell, Searson. I know things are going well. I understand things are going well. But he's definitely feeling himself a little too much. He got put back on his bottom for the aggression. And taps has got some of his own. Now ramps open. Getting a bit pushy here, Big Clan, in pursuit of their 14th, it could result in an EG 9th. Gade, he's been having a lot of impact these last two rounds. Multi-kills back to back. Will he be able to make it thrice? Two players towards low is the problem right now for Big. They need to get some territory back and fast. Kido's going to need help. Yeah, I mean, he's snappy today. And if he takes down Oboe... Ooh, good clear. Nerdy clear from Oboe. You can see how aware he was. Oof. Okay, Breeze ready as well. Do you think Oboe's the most mechanically skilled player in the server right now? Ooh, I haven't seen enough of it yet. No, no, I did. I, I'd, I'd argue I have Tabson as a uh, head okay. and shoulders above him. Okay. But I mean, you're saying mechanically. So yeah. I mean, in terms of just putting his crosshair on people and being a snappy teenager. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Yeah, sure. I agree. Okay, snappy teenagers. Like, Tabson is, is the full package. Yeah, like if you put them in a, a 1v1 environment, maybe Oboe dominates Tabson in the little mechanics ramps silliness. Well, Mihu is a low sense abuser, so we can't include him in the discussion. Low sense he's abuser. a low sense abuser. He's bloody low sense abuser. I don't know, man. I'm, there's, a, there's a great counter to low sense abusers, and that's shooting them in the back. Ah, uh, yes. You should, you should see Henry G do a full arm workout and every normally, time. Normally, when you get shot in the back, it's normally uh, met with uh, the jump. You jump <laughs> yeah. spin, right, to try and avoid the shots. But you can't avoid Sirius' AWP. That's a great start. And Obo Bobo, he's been popped off early here. So after a round, EG are already down a man. And almost two if the trigger was pulled. Me who gets across towards T-Red, back again. Obo Bobo. Breezy. Lovely stuff from him. He strings together, creeps out of the hut for a double. If Tabson can't handle that push, he could, though. Damage into Tabson. Daps has softened him up for Cirque, but I think he's got a bit too much on his plate here. So one up towards that heaven position. He knows there's a low HP on Daps, and I don't think Searson's got any reason to flinch or move. So it's time to play a game of Counter-Strike statues. And you moves, moves, you're first. out. Yeah, well, the song started playing, apparently. Bit of the Spice Girls, you could see Sir getting some pep in his step right there, but 14 to 9, and this one feels like it's destined for a big opener. Great way for them in what will be a highly volatile and hopefully highly contested group of Group C to get their Gade campaign off the ground. Let's see, does Daps have any master plans? Breeze onto a Galil, you never love to see it, especially when he's fragging up a storm. Smokes are pending. Very ambitious from Tabs and taking a big risk there. And where did Breeze's health just go? I think that's the lobby pressure from the CTs. It's left him very wounded. Seven points of health to operate for a minute and 35 seconds. You don't love to see that, but they've delayed the smoke wall this time. Make sure it doesn't get disrupted. But here's Tabson. He's throwing his own one way. Boy. I don't know if EG are ready for that. You have to respect it. Why? You wouldn't be picking it in 2021. Oh, he's done well with that. Obo has the hat. Oh, jumping through the smoke, and it's too easy for Tabs, and he's got one. Oh, they got me right away. Frag. They didn't call it. He's going to get. Oh, I was going to say more, but he's gone for the reload instead. He's pinned on in. 
might need a flash or something here. Well, there's the flash. There's the swing. Mihu does get the kill, but it's way too late. You can't leave. Like, you're just trapped here. You'd have to fight your way out. You'd have to AKV AWP and win it cleanly if you want to convince us that there's more to be said about this round. Keto's even got your name covered. Searson will slap another into the feed. We'll call it 15. Big Clan got six opportunities now to close out EG's pick in regulation. And yeah, nasty methodical conversion so far on this defense. It just hasn't looked like EG could have enough to offer. It's to just make been the, fragging. Make them sweat. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, we've just been witnessing two members of EG going down a little early into a lot of these pieces. Yeah, so the T side just not getting what they're looking for. And Breeze has been playing well. 24 kills for him, 17 for Obo. Daps has had his moments, especially on the CT side. It's been Mihu and Cirque who have been a bit quieter here. But one more time, they try ramp. Gade going to pass the test again with the opener. Yeah, and did a good bit of chunk of damage to Obo. He's trying to take a lot of space back. He wants that Hell Punish. Peeking onto that as they descend the ramp. I say that. Mm, it's only Daps testing the water. Oh, and as he mantles in, it's a head-to-head -head for Tizian. Oh, magnificent spray from him. Two from Tizian. And we'll just stick a fork in this one. It is done.